sustainability head at UPL and one of the leading uh, experts in this space. And he's going to talk to us about uh, his latest book uh, on this particular uh, topic. So welcome to you, uh, Dr. Chaube. Good afternoon. Uh, Am I so, audible? Yeah, so I can hear you, Dr. Chaube. So to start off with the benefit of our viewers, can you give us a brief about this book of yours and what does it uh, exactly cover? Yes. So good afternoon. And uh, let me thank uh, Smart Water and Waste World to organizing this webinar. Also thank to, I think, more than 400 attendees are there on this live season. So thanks to all for a sparing time. So uh, I shall first say a brief about my book. Uh, the name of my book is Wastewater Treatment Technologies Design Considerations. And um, it was uh, published by Wiley Publication from their US and UK office. So first, uh, maybe five, seven minutes, I shall brief about the book through one presentation, and then we will have a question and answer session. So just I'm going to share uh, the book presentation. Is it uh, the slide is coming? Yes, sir. Can you go full screen, please? Yes. Yes. So uh, this is about uh, my book, Wastewater Treatment Technologies Design Considerations. And um, uh, this was uh, published by Wiley Publication. Uh, simultaneously, they are published from their UK office and USA office. Uh, now this book have uh, seven chapters and uh, in seven chapters, uh, I have covered a lot of things and uh, I can see personally, if you ask from me, uh, I have covered uh, my experience of 30 years in the wastewater treatment. So 24 years I am in the industry and uh, six years uh, in academy. So nearly from last 30 years, I am involved. So I thought to write this book. And uh, this book is divided into seven chapters. Uh, first chapter is on global perspective of wastewater treatment. And there uh, I have covered issues related to the uh, water treatment globally. And uh, a lot of things was covered in, in that chapter. The interesting part is uh, about the uh, how the different environmental regulations related to wastewater are in the different part of the world. And also, I have given some perspective on the deep sea discharge, because uh, when we are doing the deep sea discharge in different part of the world, then I found that uh, the regulation is not consistent. And you will see in US something, in UK something, in India something. But as a sea, if you see, as a ocean, then, then it's going in the common ocean. So that I have covered in my book. And also in first chapter, you will see that uh, I have shared that in last 30 years, how the uh, scenario in the wastewater treatment has changed. Before 30 years, if you see, it was a conventional kind of design uh, based upon just to meet the regulation. But today, a smarter, modular design requirement is there to meet the uh, recycling and reuse requirement. Uh, in second chapter, um, I have covered wastewater characteristics. So nearly 30 kind of industry characteristics has been covered in the chapter second. And then uh, in chapter third, wastewater treatment, the fourth is the design consideration. So detailed design has been covered in my book. And uh, fourth chapter is, I, I think fifth chapter, fifth chapter is advanced sustainable wastewater treatment. So there, uh, you will not find several new sustainable technologies in any uh, textbook right now like a scale band technology, forward osmosis, volute, 
and um, uh, uh, wet uh, air oxidation yes you found but solar detoxification i have added so solar detoxification is the new thing so several advanced wastewater treatment technologies has been covered in chapter 5 chapter 6 is devoted toward the zero liquid discharge so uh, that chapter is very interesting that what all technologies are available for zld and also i have given a overview that uh, what is the techno economic feasibility of zld and some of the interesting fact i have incorporated that zld may not be environment friendly if you have a proper waste water discharge facility like common effluent treatment plant deep sea discharge then if uh, there is a no environmental benefit if you implement zld so those kind of things also covered in this chapter and the last chapter is devoted toward the waste water treatment operational excellence and troubleshooting so that's about the book this book is available on all the commercial e sites on the uh, wiley library online it is available it is also available on amazon so you you can go on amazon just type either my name or book name you, you will get the link and uh, you can purchase from there a part of this several e-commerce site ebay red self and uh, so many because wiley has put on world wide several websites so very easily available this book from the websites so uh, now this is uh, about the book then now we will go for the question answer session and uh, this is my contact link if anyone want anything about my book then they can contact me so fine yeah, so and dr chaudhary yeah. yeah can i Uh, ask a few questions, sir. Yes, yes. You can ask the question. I think let me show this. This is the book, okay. which is with me, and uh, uh, so okay, fine. Uh, you can go ahead with your questions. So, sir, my first question is obviously there have been several books in the market on waste water treatment. What one is that? What prompted you to write about a book on waste water? the treatment considering there is already a lot of books around and what are the special features in this book that helps it set up a, itself apart okay so i think the uh, why i have written this book to answer your question i think the first thing was in mind in my mind that uh, uh, from last 30 year Uh, i am involved in the waste water treatment designs 24 year in various industry so uh, i started in pentair then i went into cell and we implemented several waste water treatment in refinery of uh, cell then i moved to unilever so in unilever also nearly 500 companies are there around the world so we came across several waste water treatment issues and design considerations and now i am with upl so here also globally a lot of issue comes while dealing the waste water treatment of agrochemical so i think the that is the main idea that uh, uh, six year while i was in iit uh, reading on academic side on the waste water and 24 year in the industry so all 30 year what experience i get with the waste water treatment especially design operation new technology so that lets document and and that is the main idea second thing is that nowadays uh, this is very important to embed the sustainable waste water treatment technologies and the sustainable waste water treatment technologies like uh, uh, you can say volute for the sludge handling forward osmosis a scale bent technology and uh, vacuum distillation these all are the new technology and uh, also mbbr is not new but yes from 10 year it's popular inside the industry so that should be also covered in a textbook and the all design methodology design considerations should be given 
so that was also my idea and that has been presented in this book and uh, last point uh, which is very important uh, i used to face the problem whenever we design the waste water treatment plant we don't get uh, proper characteristics so when you are going to design the waste water treatment plant especially industrial waste water treatment then you must know what is the characteristics of inlet effluent like ph bod cod tds tss so i have summarized in this book nearly 30 industry effluent characteristics and that is based practical means what characteristic i got uh, while operating those plants and uh, so practical uh, 30 industries characteristics that has been summarized and uh, mainly for the fmcg industry chemical industry agrochemical industry and uh, several kind of refinery and uh, so many more 30 kind of industries characteristics are there so i think that is a very good part in this book where any designer can refer those characteristics uh so in at the start you mentioned about the deep sea discharge standards and how uh, you know they are uh, different in your experience can you throw a, a little bit more light about this deep sea discharge standards uh yes i i think uh, deep sea discharge is a very interesting thing and in my book uh, in the chapter global perspective of waste water treatment i have covered in detail and uh, what is there that uh, when you are sending your effluent treated effluent into deep sea discharge then a lot of cost get uh, accrued and i think it is a very good things for the waste water treatment that first you treat meet the discharge standard and send to the deep sea discharge but what i found that when you see the us epa norm in us then their standard is for uh, uh, agrochemical industry if you see then they are allowing 4000 ppm cod uh, 2000 ppm bod and 2000 tss to discharge into the deep sea but if you see the india standard then in india we have put the limit of 250 ppm cod and 30 ppm bod and 100 ppm tss so very stringent and why it is because in india we have only one norm whether you discharge on ground whether you discharge in the river or whether you discharge in the deep sea our norm say that everywhere same standard but if you see the us epa then they have make different standard for the different mode of discharge so those things has been elaborated in my book that what us epa norm is what india norm is what is uk norm is what brazil so several part of world has been covered and uh, it was concluded that in india we have the a stringent norm for the deep sea discharge Uh, sir i'll take a few questions that have come in from the audience so bharat is asking he does the book uh, cover the treatment of api and antibiotics treatment because this is currently a very high agenda for pharmaceutical companies yes pharmaceutical company i have covered in my book even the characteristics also has been summarized treatment scheme has been also summarized and even in the deep sea discharge a standard also for pharma industry what us epa norm is and what our india norm is that has been also summarized in this book uh, sir dilip kumar chatwal is also asking is the book also covering case studies or literature around sugar plants because he says that they are very seasonal and are very difficult to handle before and after the closure of the season yes sugar industry has been covered in this and and personally i i have been uh, with several waste water treatment plant to treat the sugar industry waste water so those uh, treatment approach and design methodology has been covered in this sir so rupali is asking this book uh, question that 
can this book be useful for non technical people also who are interested in knowing more about this industry i think it is mainly for them uh, because uh, i have tried to write in such a way that people can easily understand and i personally feel that uh, waste water treatment is not a just a water management issue but it is a health issue also because today if you see uh, uh, united nation water world development report then as per the report it saying that 80% waste water globally going untreated into the river and in environment and because of that one who estimate is coming that nearly 2.2 million people killed every year because of water related and water borne disease so i personally feel that waste water treatment is not a water management issue but it is also a health issue and uh, uh, to have a knowledge how to treat waste water uh, i have written this book and uh, it is even for those people who don't have sound knowledge in waste water if they will start reading this book they can also able to design the waste water treatment plan uh, dr chobe anthony fernandez is asking that is this book only about technology information or can it help engineers to de design and operate waste water treatment plants through some examples that you might have in the book yes so for design i think uh, two chapter has been devoted uh, with examples and uh, for operators how to operate the plant so last chapter 6 is regarding operational excellence and troubleshooting so the last seventh chapter is fully devoted for the operation of waste water treatment uh, sir in your book while ex talking about your book you mentioned about zedl and you said that you have an exclusive chapter dedicated around uh, zld can you share with the audience your views on zld uh, based on your experience so on zld means uh, zero liquid discharge in industry uh, my view is that uh, in those area where there is uh, no proper discharge of waste water treatment facility available and very water scarce location yes establishment of concept of zld is good for those area but it cannot be generalized means right now so, we are making a general norm that let make zld mandatory everywhere uh, especially in those area if you go in gujarat coastal area so we have deep sea discharge facility we have common effluent treatment plant so in those area i found that zld is not a environment friendly technology and why because in my book i have presented a case study and calculation and it's showing that suppose if you are meeting just discharge standard and if you are implementing zld then zld consume four times more energy Uh, emission of carbon emission happen four times more than the normal discharge standard uh, hazardous waste get generated 2.5 times more in the zld and also if you see the capex it is 2.5 times more and operating cost is three times more so i think the techno economic assessment clearly saying that zld is not environment friendly because it is going to Uh, emit carbon emission four times more than the normal waste water treatment which just meet the discharge standard and a very elaborate one chapter has been included in my book and uh, so so my conclusion is this that if proper discharge facility is not available if location is water scarce location yes go for the zld but if proper discharge facility available then it's better to meet the discharge standard and send to the deep sea discharge rather than making it zld everywhere uh, 
sir we have heard that after the release of this book that there have been reactions from the indian government also in trying to uh, you know uh, they have given feedback it seems about the issues that you have raised in the book can you share something about that i think uh, yes uh, one at ministry of environment forest uh, mainly on the deep sea discharge and jld so the committee has been set up uh, by the ministry of environment forest to look into the jld feasibility and also a separate committee has been set up to look into deep sea discharge standard and uh, recently i heard that the gujarat government has also um asked to review uh, jld uh, so so i think uh, these two things two developments happen so so sir uh, also a little tricky question also something that people have put up in my, uh, the question is that don't you think that the book is a little costly you know you are talking of nearly 8 to 10000 rupees uh, you know uh, the feedback is that the book seems to be a little expensive i uh, you are right i think the 10000 rupees yes at indian context uh, it is costly and my aim was to make it a cheaper but the problem is that uh, uh, wiley wiley has published this book and that is a us the, from us and uk and if you see the wiley uh, they are very uh, very renowned publishing house for the technical book around the world and their technical books uh, start in this range means uh, in indian uh, maybe 100 dollar us dollar uh, this book cost 120 us dollar so between 100 to 150 dollar uh, it's it's normal cost uh, by the wiley publications so cost was not in my hand and uh, truly you are speaking from me yes uh, we should make it affordable uh, but right now it is beyond my control okay so one final question is that while this book seems to be very very useful for the wastewater treatment designers uh, do you think that you know Uh, there could be a lot of information and data in this for even the operators and i i i think your voice is breaking yes sir so so just uh, uh, i am not sure if you can hear me yes yes now i am hearing uh, now i am hearing so uh, yes uh, if you see for operator uh, this book is very good for the designer but also it is very good for the operator because the last chapter chapter number 7 uh, i have covered uh, waste water operation excellence and troubleshooting so that chapter is very good and relevant for the operators and they are they can able to see Uh, that how to make the logbook and uh, how to analyze the characteristics also while operating the plant uh, what care they should take and what kind of parameter they should use to measure also nowadays we have to uh, implement online measuring instrument so those things has been also covered in this book how to install the online instruments and how to measure the online all parameters so i think for operators this is very good and and they can also when they will read this book then they will also found very useful thank you dr chobe for taking time out of your busy schedule and sharing about this book i am sure the community at large will benefit a lot from this book and hopefully we will have many such books from you in the future sir right right thank you thank so you we will share with all our attendees today on the details on how you can you know procure this books we will share the links of where it is available and in case uh, anybody wants to reach out to 
uh, uh, you know the doctor directly we would be more than happy to share his contact details so thank you dr chobe for this session thank you thank you uh, moving to our next session for the day uh, today i would now like to invite uh, colonel